Yo, what's up everyone? It's the Badaholic here with the Comic Book Fiend Club and we're back with a, another unboxing and today it's a pretty special unboxing. We got a Batman black and white statue by Todd McFarlane, number 100 in the series. Um, right off the bat, you can tell it's a little bit bigger of a box. This is supposed to be more of a deluxe uh, style black and white statue, so it's supposed to be a little bit bigger than the typical size black and whites, which is about six to six and a half inches tall. Um, this particular statue, like I said, is inspired by Todd McFarlane's art. Um, it's based off the cover of Batman 423, I believe. Could have just got that wrong off the top of my head. Um, and yeah, it's number 100 in the series. Um, I have the complete set of all the original releases, none of the variants. Um, and it's honestly kind of bittersweet to get this one in. Um, as you may have heard, DC Direct is no longer. They're going to outsource their statues and their collectibles uh, to third parties. So uh, the future of the Batman black and white statue line is kind of up in the air at the moment. Um, we do know that we're going to get number 101, which is the Armored Batman by Frank Miller. That's already out of production and uh, in some people's hands. So we know we're going to get that one. Um, but it's going to be questionable whether we get the version 3 Jim Lee, we get the Greg Capullo Bat Monster, um, we get the Mike McNola uh, Gotham by Gaslight. All these awesome statues that they previewed and there's a chance that may not get the collector's hands, which is super disappointing to hear. But, you know, for now we did make it to 100. Pretty excited to check it out. And I'll go ahead and note that I, uh, this has been out for a little while. I uh, always get mine for my LCS, um, but due to the change in distribution from DC Comics, uh, from um, Diamond to, to distributing their own stuff, it was a crapshoot whether I was gonna get this or not, so I got on the wait list for Sideshow, it converted, I jumped on it immediately. If my comic story gets another one, then I'll get it and um, hook somebody up. But I didn't want to miss out and not get the original of this. They're doing a, another version, and we'll look at it here in a second, what the difference is going to be in version 2. This is definitely a bigger box. I believe it's all one piece. I don't think it detaches from the base or anything. No breakages. Bigger um, piece, all these jagged edges on the cape. Oh, it was a lot heavier <laughs> than normal black and whites. It was just a heavy piece in general. Wow. Just trying to be real careful. All these fine tips on the cape. You don't want to break one. Very, very cool. It goes without saying that obviously the cape makes this piece. Um, Batman himself is barely visible, but that's what makes the cover and uh, this statue um, rotate it more. Stand out. I got a director, T Money. The other one. I couldn't see it. She's telling me what to do. You want to look under the. T-Money says she wants this shot, so we're giving her the shot. You know how she likes to get in on those fine details. I do want to check out the bottom. We got number 3411 out of 5,000. Let 
as I was saying earlier, um, they've already solicited for version two. I don't even know if we're going to get that. They say it's supposed to drop in November. Uh, but version two, I think, is going to take out some of these gray areas. You're going to see these gray lines inside the cape inside or uh, lining in the cape else inside the cape you're going to see kind of this gray and on the shoulder pads and everything to mark the different shadows that were iconic on the cover um, i think in version two it's just going to be an all black piece if i, I think i'm right um, i haven't made up my mind if i'm going to get that or not i mean it's got the original black base with it so it doesn't have the white base variant so does that make it um, essential to get it to complete this set I don't know. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling. More than likely, I'm going to end up getting it. But I brought out another black and white. This one's by Gerard Way. Just to kind of compare the size of the two. And, I mean, obviously, it's way bigger. It's just the entire cape. Uh, it is the centerpiece of the Batman black and white statue collection without a doubt. Uh, I think it met all the expectations when this was first shown. Uh, everyone was freaking out about it. Everyone wanted it. It was hard to, to get, to be honest, after I was I started searching and started freaking out that I may not get one through my store. Um, it became a little tricky to find. Uh, it has more deluxe price. These normally go for retail $85. Um, this one was retailing for $135. So, they jacked up the price and they they still still were able to sell out um it's going to be sad if this line comes to an end but all good things come to an end i guess it's a bummer you mean to tell me i'm going to have to save money now and not spend it on statues that's some bs what am i supposed to do with my life now feels pretty empty damn you at&t damn you but yeah um that's the piece glad to have it appreciate you guys checking out the video before you leave make sure to give us a thumbs up on this video uh subscribe for more great content uh to the channel and um drop us a comment tell me if you think i should pick up version two of this and if that's going to be a, a thing that i need to complete the line um but until next time peace